Hello everyone, in this video we are going to make this map of the European Union with ggplot. Let's start. First of all, let's load this package. Now I store the codes for the EU members in this object. Let's run. Let's check that we have 27 countries. Okay. Now, let's build this uh, list with the no elements. This will be the container for all the data that we are going to uh, download. But if you watch the previous video where we built the map of the European Union, but we use leaflet, you already download this data. I show you. Here, this is my working directory. And as you can see, this is uh, the data. We still need to run this, uh, this loop because we have to fill this, uh, this list. So let's run this one. Let's check uh, Spain. So as you can see, this one is a list of length one. And this confirms that this is Spain. Now, what I want to do is put all this data all together. So let's run this one. Let's check the class and let's view it. As you can see now, this is a list of length 27. These are all the countries. Basically, these are the, all the EU members. So now, because we want to plot with ggplot, we need the, the data to be stored in a data frame. So I'm going, I'm going to use this function tidy to make the EU object in a data frame. Let's run. By the way, this can take one minute, so I suggest playing the video forward. Okay, it's ready. Let's check the data frame. Let's view. And as you can see, we went from a, an object stored like this to an object stored like this. It's a data frame. Now we are ready to plot. Let's run the first code here. 
etmeyenler gibi. Okay, let's run. Okay, this is our map of the European Union members. Let's add a legend. Okay, so now let's add some data to this uh, to this map. Okay, uh, I get the this data for population from the Wikipedia page. This is the same code that we ran for the video of uh, where we plotted the map of Japan, and also the video where we plotted the map of European Union with the leaflet. So let's run. And basically, we got this table from the Wikipedia page. Okay, let's view it. So from this table, let's take only column two and column three. And read, let's rename these two columns here. And we need to rename with the with this same name here, ID, because we have to rename this one country as ID because uh, we are going to merge these two data sets. Okay, let's run this one. Let's remove the, the total. Now we already know that this population is not numeric. Let's check it. So let's remove all the commas in population. Let's make it as numeric. Now let's check that the names in the ID in the two datasets are the same. Okay, so now we can merge. We can use this merge function. So merge EU underscore DF with EU underscore uh, pop. By using this ID column. Let's run. Okay, let's check the first 10 entries in the last 10. Okay, so now we set the the breaks for the for the legend. So I'm going to use this quantile function. Let's run this one. And, the, and this is the labels for this uh, for these breaks. Now we generate a new column in this uh, data set. Uh, be careful here, um, I use backsticks here because uh, I'm, I write this name with a space. Uh, I write it like this because we are going to use this as the title of the legend. So here the cut function, we are breaking this, the, the value for population in the, uh, in the breaks that we decided here. We, are setting the labels and we are including the lowest the lowest value okay so let's run this one now something that is new what i want to do now is that i want to place on this map the name of, of uh, each country to do this i have to use this coordinates 
function to basically to, uh, to identify where to locate the, the country name. So we are going to store this one as a data frame. Let's run. Let's check it. Now I'm going to rename these two columns. And I will use these names to be right here, to be written here on the on the map. So let's run this code here. What is new is this geom underscore text data equal centroid. This one. This is the longitude, the latitude, the label that we are going to use. This one, the sides, the font face, and we're checking overlap. Okay, now the Mac ready, let me enlarge. We have here the countries, the colors based on the on the breaks that we decided earlier. These are the name of the of the countries here. Okay, so now let's uh, let's change two things so let's change the here the value we want uh, continuous numeric values and let's make this as a label and not as text so basically this is the same code as before the difference is this one Uh, we are adding here job underscore label. So let's run this one. And this is the same map I show you at the beginning. I hope this is this video is useful. So now I think that you can compare ggplot and the leaflet and you can choose the one that you prefer. Let me in the comment which one uh, you prefer and if you enjoyed this video, see you in the next one.